Hi, this is Dr. Kang and today's story is about carotid sinus reflex. And this is one of the questions I got on uh, diveweb.co.kr uh, on my uh, diving medicine Q&A. It was about a diver diving with a buddy in dry suit. And while he was swimming, he looked around to check if the buddy is doing okay. And as soon as he looked around, he felt extremely dizzy. And he, with the help of his buddy, he came out of water. And uh, he was wondering what that was. And that's why uh, I decided I will make some presentation on this issue, which is quite often in Korea, because even myself used to wear dry suit year round. And uh, we'll take a brief look at the anatomy of carotid artery, sinus, and then carotid sinus reflex, the cause and the management. Um, carotid artery and carotid sinus, the blood uh, from left atrium goes down to the left ventricle and then goes to aorta and from the aorta which make an arch here and comes internal I'm sorry common carotid artery which bifurcates into internal and external and right there at bifurcation it's sinus I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you see this is common carotid artery, external and internal. Right here is kind of bulging. It's called the carotid sinus. This has a very interesting function of its own. We'll go for that. Um, this is showing the narrowing of uh, external carotid artery. But right here, is the bulging. And usually around here is the sinus. So what is carotid sinus reflex? Carotid sinus had some uh, autonomous nerve system regulating it and when the blood uh, supply and blood pressure increases this sinus will sense it and give some signal to heart to put down the pressure so if we touch uh, carotid sinus even if we don't have high pressure even if we don't have increased blood pressure still the sinus senses as if there's increased amount of blood and increased the blood pressure that will order heart to put down the pressure so carotid sinus reflex is a sudden lowering of blood pressure when the situation is very bad. You can even sync up, and uh, it's uh, it's a you, they can uh, take you to a very serious uh, situation. Here, um, radical neck dissection. Now, this is what I used to do when I was young uh, for uh, hand and neck cancer patients. We usually have to work on carotid artery and sinus there. So when we accidentally uh, touch that part, patient blood pressure will just shoot go down and the anesthesiologist would say, hey doc, the patient's blood pressure is going down. That's when I might have touched the sinus. Uh, it's called the sinus, uh, carotid sinus reflex. And in the hospital, uh, we do some uh, what we call carotid sinus massage test or sensitivity test. And we put the patient in a sitting position and we touch 
the carotid sinus area and see how the blood pressure works. So this is, uh, we, I would do it to all my patients to whom I have to do the uh, radical neck dissection. So for diving, when can we have it? It's usually when neck seal or dry, uh, I'm sorry, uh, hood is too tight. And uh, people wearing dry suit, long time ago they used to put it all the way up here, believing there might be less uh, seawater comes in. But it's not true. Um, people wearing seals, they should invert the seal and put down as far as you can do. Otherwise, you will have more seawater comes in. But anyway, that's in, um, that's in uh, dry suit specialty course. And uh, you wear your seal too high, which is touching your carotid sinus area, and then you all of a sudden turn your head. The seal will touch and stimulate the sinus, and your blood pressure goes down. So this is, uh, to me, this is almost the only reason I can think of. Or if you wear too tight a hood, can do the same thing. Uh, neck seal, it's better that you put it down as, uh, as far down as possible. Management, roll down the seal, um, fold the seal inward. That's for keeping water out and uh, avoid the too tight hood. So it's something that we need to remember. Uh, it can happen if you wear uh, tight hood in tropical water as well. So uh, this is how we put down the hood and let this part free of compression. So today's story was about uh, carotid sinus reflex coming from too tight an axial or hood. And uh, better uh, remember and be careful about that. Uh, carotid sinus reflex, and thank you, and I'll be back very soon.